Yeah. Since I feel like a feel like a crying. You gotta let the monster from borderline make him get you. Lego history. Quick YouTube video. Because even, let me see, that book's 87. Over 30 years ago, I got that one booklet that you're gonna see in this video. And then try to do videos, or at least get the footage all together so I could do a video. So in spite of the political aspects of certain companies, and there's a lot of them. I could go down the list if you want me to. But there's also a history I want to share. This history is going to be very interesting for those who really are fans. I've said before that there's only like there was only re like three themes back in the 80s. And look, check this out. This is a uh, night. I saw the date right here. Oh, there it is. Effective through March 31, 1987. So that's this book. So that's this. So that's that one. And there's this one. This is uh, 1989. This is uh, 19. 1992 and then so this kind of changed the, the books a little bit over here Eight. and then I think around 1999 I went to Legoland so that was in my stuff and then that's when they started the theme. So they has one theme. Let me see. This one was the adventure, the adventure theme. And then that's when they started the theme. So they has one theme. Let me see. This one was the adventure, the adventure theme. And then Star Wars, Star Wars. And then this one, just kind of plain. Wait, this is all a certain type. I don't know. Oh, basketball ones. I have those. I've saved them. This is this uh, the minifigure. I got this from a yard sale. And as you can see, they took the minifigure out of it. The minifigures are like a, a big core to the Lego collectors. As you can see here, I got the Brick Bible. I, I think that my mom got this from Costco like many years ago. I, I, some of the pictures are just pretty questionable, but it's art. The bricks. So here's the card, check this out. This is one of the cards from the, the Lego. I sold my Kobe card already, even before Kobe passed away, so. And then this, because I'm still trying to get a handle on the, the brick movies. The Lego make your own movies. And that's like that blunty guy that inspired me from, you know, getting back into Lego ends up just being a social justice person and like if you watch my other videos on my other channel I'll explain I explain what social justice is in, in my unhumble opinion it's not uh, anyways I'm not gonna digress because then no one watches my video and I'm gonna go through these books in just a minute So 
this is the first, the oldest book that I have in my collection from 1987, which is really sweet. Maybe it's like 86, I don't know. They did things differently back then. So I'm gonna um, go ahead and probably look through this book. I'm gonna look for indications of like, see there's all boys in these pictures. 1987. Yeah, it was mostly a boy toy. And it wasn't until later on. There's a girl, a little girl and a little boy in this picture. So that castles, this castle system is what I had. Let me see. Oh, I'm so see. three themes. There's uh, I don't know if theme is necessarily the like castle space city or is it actually um the types of so they have lego land boats trains as a matter of fact that was my first train and it's long gone now i sold it or lost it or something and then technics Says Lego toys, the toys you grew, grow, grow up with. Pretty self-explanatory. That's pretty good uh, notice too. I wonder if that's still the same. In order to preserve product quality, do not store or wash your Duplo and Lego bricks above 110. Okay, probably damage some of my Lego that way, but. See the little, little girl, little boy playing with some Legos, you know? No rules, you know? Build, the, that's the basic Legos. Three to five, five to seven, um, seven to 12. Just the age groups over here. This is all according to 1987, late 80s. It takes usually a couple years before the decade gets its own little thing to it, 80s. So yeah, there's that. This is all pretty cool stuff. Let me see, uh, this Lego set I had, and I did go on eBay to reorder it. Not the same, it was filthy, dirty. So that was kind of a disappointment. I still give them good feedback. I'm gone too. This airport set, my favorite, favorite. I actually made a lot of airplanes about. So in eight, 1987, my brother, he had a motorcycle accident. And I got this, I got this set for Christmas. And because my brother wasn't able to move very well, he walked right through the center of my Legos. Smashed this, smashed stuff, damaged stuff, whatever. My brother was kind of mean, kind of a mean person. I think that's the biggest set I had out of this. That was the only space. I, I don't know. I didn't really collect space. I'm not sure. The castle. Look, check this out. This is, this is cool. This castle. This castle I had, King's Castle. Uh, a lot of those leftover Lego pieces. I think I gave to my daughter. A couple years ago. Base plates. Classic base plates. Those evolved. Oh, I have that little case. See that little little storage case? Oh, I'm sorry. Little storage case. I have that. Not sure why, but it's just what I got. It's kind of cool. I think I carried it in high school. I looked like a dork, but you know. So this is the train that I had. My grandfather gave it to me one day. He just says, oh, here's the train. I got you this. It was during the summer. It was kind of cool to build it. My friend helped me build it. Um, 
I want to show you one more quick one. I think it's in this book. This book is from 1989, 1989. And I was in junior high school in 1989. And I just want to show you the one set that I got. I don't know if my grandfather got it for me or, wait, was it not out in this one? Well, I had those. Those guys I sold on the eBay machine. I didn't make too much off of it, but I had this helicopter guy. It's fun. Those guys were like as big as a G.I. Joe action figure, so it was really cool. Oh, well, it's not in this one. Okay, let's look at this one. This one is a book from 1991. I started high school in 1991. But I think this is where I saw it. See that, see that guy, that car? That was a hot kit. I don't even think it was that expensive back in that day. This is it. The Lego Auto Chassis. Those wheels I actually just found on the eBay machine and I ordered them. But I remember building that. That's the uh, yeah, auto chassis. I mean, I should have been messing with real cars. I was messing with Lego. Is that going to focus? Focus! There you go. Focused. So yeah, I, mean, I should have been messing with real cars. Well, I did mess with real cars at the time too. I had a 1963 Ranchero. So, yep. So that's just like a brief kind of blow through with all these booklets uh, and I hope that uh, you can enjoy looking at these old Lego books for flashback Friday flashback Friday